live, going live, going live. You're live, yeah. All right. Hey, everybody. Uh, this is a little earlier than I was thinking about doing, but I figured I might as well get started. Uh, yeah, if you guys missed my little update video, uh, you missed the announcement um, that we're doing this. We are doing a live series of Metroid Prime Trilogy. Um, no idea how this is... Oh, well, that was quick. Metroid Prime Trilogy. I'm getting it. Yeah. So, uh, ju just so viewers are aware, I've never played this. Um, I don't play many first-person shooters at all. Um, so, um, we'll see how this goes. I mean, you played a little TF2 briefly. Yeah, that's like the only one I've played. Besides, like, a tiny bit of Call of Duty, and that was against my will? Uh, you also played Portal. I'd say that counts. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I guess if you want to count Portal. Yeah. Just making sure. This, I wouldn't really call this a traditional first-person shooter, though. Especially because of its control scheme. Like, if you've ever played, like, any point-and-shoot game on Wii... It's basically just that. Uh, great. I've played less of those. This opening cinematic looks cool, though. Yeah, here it is. All right. Yep, I've got the nunchuck connected. All right. I guess it is time to, uh, I guess, wait. Select us. Oh, this is motion two. Oh, I forgot this is my me. Oh, my God. I forgot about some of the Miis I have on this Wii. It's been so long since I've played a game on Wii. <laughs> well, and then... <laughs> oh gosh, the one right next to me is Nathaniel, who played the genie in Highview's production of Aladdin. <laughs> That's what that me is. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. There's a Monopoly man, I think. Oh my gosh, Mr. Riemann Schneider! He was like the, um, the like, the shop teacher at Highview. Ah. I forgot I made a me of him. Oh. Oh gosh. Uh, screw it, we're going, we're going Mr. Riemann Schneider. <laughs> of course and I would also like to point out I know for a fact this is not the first time this uh, Riemann Schneider me has shown up on YouTube because it also showed up when I played uh, Dr. Mario Online RX a long time ago uh. oh there's a multiplayer? For Metro Prime 2, yeah. Interesting. All right. I'll have to check I don't that know, that seems, that seems like it would be super complex. Split-screen multiplayer of Metroid Prime. I don't know. I mean... I mean, it couldn't be too different from, like, stuff like GoldenEye and stuff. I guess. But those ones are played with the with dual stick controllers, not point and click. All right. Well, I'm going. Of course, we're starting with the first one since I haven't played any of them. I've briefly dabbled in this game, but yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Unidentified distress beacon has been. Oh, okay. Didn't want to read that anyway. Thanks. <laughs> oh, boy. I can just get the cushion on my couch. It's pushed super far forward for some reason. Not in all the way on the couch. Ah. Mm. Oh, these beautiful Nintendo GameCube graphics. Did they not remaster this at all? Is this how it I, I don't. I don't think so. I mean, if this is how it looks on GameCube, like, that's not bad for GameCube. I guess. Uh, yeah, I've, I've played the original Metroid Prime, and it, 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 I think it looked just like this. I mean, that's that's pretty good. That was back at a time when Nintendo didn't know how to do camera work in their game. So what it was was forward, you move forward, backward, you move back, left, you turn left, right, you turn right, and you have to hold down a button to look up and down. The C-Stick did nothing. That is some interesting shading on the Varia suit. For a second, I thought that. the suit was supposed to be half silver, but no, that's just their way of shading. Which, to be honest, looks really good. I mean, it doesn't look like what it's supposed to be, but it looks cool. Right. Simple enough so far. Actually, the way I played this the first time I played it was with the Wii Zapper. Oh, this is... Comp oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Well, the Wii Zapper is just a just a sleeve that you put the controller and nunchuck in. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, I suppose. There's some that like required it though. Uh, no, you you could play any Zapper game with the Wii Remote. Oh. Like you could play like Link's Crossbow Training with the Wii Remote. Yeah, the suppose. Zapper just makes it. The Zapper just makes it easier. Okay. Have you ever heard of Conduit? Because that's a game I've wanted to play for a while. I've never heard of that, no. Okay. It was one of the better shooters on the Wii. Wait, I'm confused. So, what am I supposed to Move do? cursor into the top zone and release mouse to enter scan visor. I mean, minus to enter scan visor. Uh, move it to, Oh, hold minus. Oh, wait. Drag it up. Drag it up and release. Oh, hang on. I did wrong. Oh, okay. Oh, God. The quality just dropped for me. Oh, there we go. Now it's back. Uh, I, okay, I'm having difficulties with this. There we go. Alright, scannable objects appear as orange targets. Present, oh, okay. Gotcha. Does not seem operational. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Okay. Do not appear operational. Not appear, not seem to be operational, do not seem to be operational. Okay. I remember this, the scan mechanic actually being really fun to use for me. Okay. Then again, I was playing on GameCube, so. I'm, all right. So how do I get past this then if none of the switches are operational? 
That is. Is there anything else you? Is there anything else you can scan? I'll try again. Um. Well, okay. Try looking at like anything like behind you or something. I don't know. I'm throwing stuff at the wall to see oh. what sticks. Force field activation switches are now online. Okay. Oh! Okay. Gotcha. That includes the upper ones, too. Oops. Oh, boy. All right. All right. There's that. Oh. If you think these controls, just to let you know, if you think these controls are hard, I guarantee you it's harder on GameCube. Uh, doesn't seem to be too difficult so far. I just have to figure out what to do and, like, do it right. Which, which again, is not, like, oh. All right. Just like the original Metroid. Which I've also never played. Well, to be honest, just like, have you have you ever played any Metroid game? Or is okay. this your first one? <laughs> so here's my experience with Metro. Oh, repressurize the room. Oh, interesting. Um, okay. Oh, I see. I see what you need to. Oh, hang on. Wait. Use the activation panel. Where is the activation? There was a there was an activation panel behind you. You accidentally scanned the door, but the panel was in your line of sight. Oh, it's right oh, there. Oh, gotcha. Well, no, I didn't anyway, accidentally scan the door. I was me. I meant to do that. Oh, I thought you were aiming for the other thing. No, no, no. Anyways, you got to scan it. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, so my experience with Metroid is I played the Super Metroid uh, demo on Smeps on Brawl. That's it? Um, yeah, and I ended, and um, interestingly, so while I was playing, I had never seen anyone play Super Metroid. So I didn't know that the first Ridley fight was supposed to be unwinnable. Like, that you weren't meant to win that fight. So I was getting very frustrated that he wasn't taking any damage. Uh, didn't know what I was doing wrong. And I got so mad that he wasn't taking any damage, even though I was clearly hitting him, um, that I, ac I actually, like, pulled... Because I was using a GameCube controller. I pulled the GameCube controller, the cord for it, out of, like, the socket that you plug into the Wii. I think you've actually told me about yeah, this I, before. Yeah, 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 I think I, I have. Think, I didn't remember that it was Super Metroid. Though. Yeah, it was Super Metroid. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, not your best... Ex you haven't had very good experiences with Metroid. Hopefully I mean, to be fair, that was just me not knowing that it, it the game didn't want me to win. Yeah, but even so, that was a really dumb segment for Nintendo to use as a demo for Brawl. Well, I mean, they had to, I mean, they just went with the beginning of the game, like every other demo. So, what else uh, would they have they, done? They actually, they actually didn't do that in every other demo. They didn't do that in Ocarina of Time. Wait, what? They didn't, it, Ocarina of Time demos does not start at the beginning. Really? It starts when you, it starts after you've talked to the Deku Tree. Oh, interesting. Yeah, because you can just... And you already have the sword and the shield, and, like, you can just... The demo is you start in your home, and you can just go immediately into the first dungeon. Oh, 
All right. Of course, good luck doing anything in three minutes. Actually, I believe the Ocarina. I I believe the Ocarina one's five. Oh yeah, whatever it is. It's still not long enough. No. Oh. Well, it's long enough for what Nintendo wanted, which was you know, you see this demo, you want to buy the game immediately. Which I mean, it is. It was known as one of like the best games of all time, and the best, and one of the best Zelda games as well. Platform. And still, it is though. I think Breath of the Wild has outperformed it. Yeah. Speaking of which, I wasn't able to catch your uh, your reaction stream, obviously. But thoughts on the Breath of the Wild sequel? Um, I saw I saw the room. I saw the I saw Zelda and Link shit my pants, and then saw it was a sequel. And then shit my pants again. Yeah. Honestly, for me, uh, most excited... Oh, uh, Everyone in my house probably heard that. Every, everyone in my house probably heard me say that. No, um, oh, but... Yeah. Of course, Morphal. How could anyone forget about Morphal? Uh, anyway, um, my I think the most exciting thing for me... Um, you know, Obviously, I don't own a Switch... But the most exciting thing for me um, was definitely um, Banjo Kazooie being revealed for Smash. Oh, really? I, I figured it'd be uh, Sword and Shield. Well, they didn't really show much information on that. Um, I guess. Not, yeah, the hype for that kind of died down after the Pokemon Direct. Well, I wouldn't say it's died down. Um, they, they just, you know, had the Pokemon Direct for that game, so they didn't need to show as much. Yeah. Oh, what is that? Oh, I don't know what to do. You have to fire a missile at it. I don't know how to fire missiles. The game hasn't told me that yet. It did, actually. D-pad. Oh, my bad. Oh, wrong way. Oh, good. Oh, this is not going well. There we go. It is dead. All right. Ah! Okay. I see you now. Ah! Shoot! No, 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 no. Please stop shooting. Those really... Those take off one out of 100 health for every time they hit you. They're not going to do that much damage to you. All right, it wants me to scan. Okay. You, you, yeah. yeah, your health bar. Yeah, your health bar. I see that now. Is, oh, God. For a moment, I was just like, where is your health bar? But then I saw the energy meter, and I was like, of course. Energy is health in the Metroid series. Yeah. I go in here. Is this what I... Oh, God. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, yeah, no, but I mean, like... And granted, I haven't played much Banjo Kazooie, but like they really earned that spot in Smash Bros. Yeah, for sure. Also, I love how Sakurai just he does this every time. Every time a character is added to Smash, he somehow makes them look better in that in Smash than they do in their in their games. Well, to be fair. Ban Banjo and Kazooie really haven't had a good game since the N64. Yeah, they, br they brought him back to his original design, which I loved. Well, yeah, they the weren't going to use nuts and bolts, obviously. Fans would have hated that. And that know. design like, has no association with Nintendo. I don't know. Microsoft might might have just... Microsoft might have... They own Banjo. They might have forced them to use it. I don't think they would have done that. Oh, okay, wait, now I can snap on. Okay. Gotcha. 
When in doubt, scan. That's what I learned first time I played. All right. Morphology Zoomer. Zoomer. That oh, hey, it's a Fortnite player. Wait, what? Zoomer? Isn't that a thing? Isn't that a term? I, I've never heard that term. I don't know. No. I, I've never heard that before. Plated Parasite Larva. Plated Parasite. That might be a Fortnite player. Oh, God! <laughs> Oh, where's that thing? Okay, there you are. I think those those things those pick upables restore your health. All right, pick upables. Did I really just say that? Can I speak English? Yeah, you might want to grab those. I'm just checking this. All right. Especially since if it's like other Metroid games, they disappear eventually. Well, yep, that happened. <laughs> Grab the other one. There we go. Oh, gosh, where where are you? Oh, God. Behind you, yeah. Yeah, I, I see that now. Again, I'm behind a couple of seconds. Uh, am I not hurting it? There we go. Don't forget about charge shots. Yeah, I, I haven't forgotten. To be honest, I'm kind of surprised you can do that that early. Usually that's an upgrade you get. Status empty, all right. But yeah, I'm super hyped for uh, Breath of the Wild sequel. Yeah, I don't want to call it. I don't want to call it Breath of the Wild two, but I know the entire internet is going to do that. So, at least yeah. until we get more info. Yeah. Uh, oh, I forget the. Oh yeah. There we go. Um. I was one of the people who thought short-haired Zelda for Smash. Like, I'd, I'd, I'd like to see her as an Echo Fighter. I mean, at that point, I'd just make it a costume at that point. I guess. But... Oh, yeah, I, I also doubt they're going to do any DLC, like, Echo Fighters. Oh. I guess. But it'd still be awesome. Yeah. I mean, honestly, if, if we want to... If, we, if we're getting uh, DLC Echo Fighters, um, A, patch Shadow out as an assist trophy and make him a DLC Echo Fighter... And B, same with Waluigi. Oh, wait, he wouldn't be an Echo. He'd be an Echo. Yeah, no, no. Don't, yeah, yeah, no. Don't make Waluigi an Echo. Sorry, uh, I, miss, I, I misspoke. And also Miss Pac-Man is what I was going to say. Come on! Like... No, no that, would, that would be amazing. But... That would have been so... Like, it would have been so easy, too. Yeah. What they... Oh, oh I, I, I just got a pop-up in my YouTube news feed. Pokemon fans are very mad at Dez because you can no longer catch them all. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I heard about that. It, I mean... I, I, I don't know. I have a feeling like there will eventually be an update to the game where that, that'll add more... That'll uh, let you uh, put in more Pokemon, but um, develop the pool. I mean, like, like people gotta keep in mind, like, for a while you couldn't, uh, like you could.
for a while, you, you couldn't gotta, get you, every you uh, Pokemon in Sun and Moon. Missiles. You got to shoot those things with missiles. Yeah, I know. I know. I okay. was just, I just forgot right. the button. And just, just sure. it's not it's letting me. Am I out of, no, I'm not out of missiles, am I? Wait, what? Oh, I was pressing the wrong button on the D-pad, apparently. All right. There we go. Oh, charge beam can use draw and pickups. Oh, just keep holding. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where Samus's grab comes from. I'm kidding. It's actually probably not. But... All right. Do you have bombs yet? Uh, not that I know of. Okay. That's probably bombs. No, it's safe. Ah, uh, right, they're safe rooms. Which is good, because I was at half health. I actually have 100%ed a Metroid game. It was a uh, zero mission. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, didn't you do that on stream? No, no, I, I didn't beat it on stream. I started it, and then I forgot oh, yeah, about yeah, yeah. it. Thanks for the reminder, though. I do need to continue that. No, speaking speaking of that, uh, e, speaking of that, e, of E three, uh, you know what? You should continue. Banjo freaking Kazooie. Yeah. yeah, I got stuck, and I I never could figure out a way to get past that. I forget, do you own that do you own a hard copy of that game? Yeah, I do. Okay. Hopefully one of these days I can get Banjo Tui as well. That that one is much harder to come by. I know. So I know that. I might I might just have to pirate that one. Yeah, that's and I that's also. That. Oh wait, you uh, you play you love Donkey Kong sixty four. Of course, you have the expansion pack. Never mind, because I believe yes, Banjo Tooie also requires it. Yeah, Donkey Kong sixty four. Like that's one of the reasons that I love Banjo Kazooie. I love uh, like the fact that they're in Smash is because it's Rareware and Rareware Nintendo sixty four is just one of the best. Things yeah, it, that was like the golden age. Yeah, like, like that was like the golden age of like th of three D platformers. Yeah, like we got Mario sixty four, but that's not even rare. We got Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tooie, Donkey Kong sixty four, Conker's Bad Fur Day. Oh, that's right. Is that a platformer? I don't think it is. I think so. I don't know. I've never played it. Oh, look. Is this Frigate Orphean? Eh, hey, it's... Yeah, I guess so. Ah! I gotcha. Oh, you gotta, you gotta hit between the shields. Okay. It's, it's, it's Smash Bros. It's like, it's like freeing his spirit. Oh, oh I recognize that soundtrack. Scan this enemy to find its weak spot. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, all right then. Thanks. I just see you scan it, and then it, it finishes the scan right as it shoots at you. Yeah, thanks. Oh, okay, there's a health bar. I didn't see that at first. Oh, wow, you actually hit it through that tiny little crack in its shield. Yo, charge shot OP. Look at his health bar. Yeah. 
I know. I I I just thought of that, and I was like, "Huh." I bet this charge shot would be beneficial in this fight, where I can only hit it sometimes. And sure enough, it is extremely helpful. Like it was a like oh god of the top bar earlier, and now it's almost dead. Just gotta hit it like, oh, yeah. I, did that? Did that miss? Now oh, there we go. Uh, did it? Mm. Try hitting it in its face. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to like get to an opening. Turn on a headshot. There's some way to if like. You're, if you're struggling to walk to an opening, walk the other way. There we go. Oh, shit. Walk the opposite way. It's rotating to get to an opening faster. Ah, uh, there we go. Bang. There we go. Almost, almost. Ah, shoot. Ah. It seems to only do one damage to you. There we go! Yeah! Parasite Queen defeated. Let's straight up free Orphean. Yeah. Except without the gravity. I assume... No way, Frigate Orphean's from Metroid Prime 2, so... I assume that thing returns. Evacuate immediately. Oh, boy. This is a self-destruct sequence. Oh, boy. Six minutes and 45 seconds. Oh, okay, where am I? Ah, shoot. I got a scan, don't I? Ah, yes. Oh, cup, cup. Why won't you let me scan? There we go. Oh, thank you. All right. Yes. Hurry, please. There's usually more than enough time on the clock. It. Yeah, again, but keep in mind you're I, talking I'm, to me. Oh no, no, not you. You just walk straight past it. Yeah, I guess. I didn't know I could do that, but all right. As long all as right. you don't get stunned by it, yeah, you can. Grab that health, yeah. I got something. That was HP. Bye. Go. Go away. Thank you. Oh, God. I just need to run. I got enough health. Yeah, grab that, grab that HP. I think I get, got it. Where am I? Where do I go? Oh, God. Oh, in the tunnel. Oh, line. there we go. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Check the side route, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ew. That's weird. Oh, God. Wait, what do I do now? Behind you. I mean, ah, was, there I was can't. A side, there was a side path. There was oh, a side path. I got it. I think. Oh no. Oh god. Where am I? Oh god. It's not hurting you, so. No. I, oh, it wasn't a dead. Okay. Oh, can you kill those? Where? I think you can. Wait, wait. Into the side path again. There's a side room again. Oh, God. Behind you. Yeah, okay, I'm trying. I'm... Oh, God. Yeah, I'm going back. I'm walking back, up, backwards. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, God. If anything, you can use the map at the top. Oh, I didn't notice that until now. I also can't really tell... That that doesn't the the map isn't actually very helpful. 
Like, I I can't comprehend that. Like, I don't know what, where. If you look down, it should, oh, it zoomed in, so. And if you turn, maybe you can make it out of it easier. I yeah. mean, I seem to be doing all right now. Oh, God. I assume the door no, will I, can, I, can, I have to kill guys. these ones. Okay. Got there nine HP. Oh, I have nine. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Ah. At least those things don't hurt you. Are you sure? I think they might hurt me a little bit because I now have eight. I think the steam was what hurt you there. Oh. Oh, no. No, no, it wasn't. Wait, what? Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. Come on. Okay. Oh, am I out? Is that it? Ridley! Now? All right! <laughs> do, do, wait, are we fighting him or? Oh boy. I oh. doubt it. Oh no, it's still on the timer! God! Wait, what? Oh, what did I, what? Oh, where am I, God? Oh, God in heaven. Look up. Like How do I get up on the here, ceiling. Though. Targets, look up. Look at the ceiling. Behind you, look at the ceiling. Look at the ceiling behind you. Yeah? There should be, like, grappling or something. It hasn't, the game has not taught me how to grapple. I see an icon that's interesting. It's probably scan, hang on. Gosh. It shouldn't uh. be, I don't think, I don't think it's scan. Yeah, it disappeared, oh, yeah, it was scan. Look up. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, there. Yeah. Doesn't hold Z when this object is in view to perform. See? Do it. I I'm trying. Walk closer to it. Oh come on! It said when this is in view. Oh, and I'm also not facing the right way. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. No, uh, this way. God. Ah. Look up at it? Yeah, I see it now. God. Gosh, dang it. No. Ah. The time. Okay. I have 22 seconds. Gosh. Oh, God. Damn it. I have to scan you, I bet. Ah! No, I can't. I, I can't. Yep, well... Oh, gosh, that means I have to fight the boss again! Ah! Oh. Ah! Dang it! At least you know what you gotta do. Ah! Shit! God! Ah! 
Go away, please. Go away. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I wish the charge beam worked like that in the 2D games. Please insert metallic sphere. All right, well, at least it's saved right outside of the boss, so. Oh, wow. I did a lot of damage with that. Holy cow. It's... Oh, jeez. Oh, wow, that was super quick that time. And you have 74 spare health. Yeah, now I just need to actually escape this time. Uh, hopefully I can. Oh, God. Oh! Interesting. What? I just saw this thread. <clears throat> If anyone else knows this, but if you go to the options menu during single player in the Metroid Prime trilogy, there's a setting that enables you to lock on to targets without having to free aim. Uh, that would have been helpful to know, like, at the start of the stream. Yeah, try pausing the game and see if you can enable that. Uh, yeah, problem. Don't know how to pause. I assume plus. Nope. Oh. Is not plus. Ah. Interesting. That's not a... I don't think you can scan that. Uh, I'm doing it. Okay. Oh! That disabled the turret! Actually, that was helpful! Interesting. <laughs> Just kaboom. Yeah, no, I'm going. Bye. Thank you. Wait. Oh, yeah, jump. Ah! I said jump! D d Excuse me, Samus! Thank you. Okay. I somehow have 90 health now. Not sure how that happened. Uh. 
All right. I feel like I'm already making much better time. Er, ah! For some reason, I keep thinking missile is B, and that's not correct. Oh, jeez. There we go. All right. Back to Ridley's room. which sounds like a rejected uh, Nick Jr. show. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Ridley's Room. Today on Ridley's Room, I'm going to show you how to kill a bounty hunter. It's Z, if you remember. Yeah, I know. There we go. All right. Doing much better this time around. Don't, I don't think you can scan that. Ah, uh, yes, I can. Oh. And it disables the turret. Should have figured. You said that the last time I approached one of those, and it tried, did the same I thought, thing as last I thought you time. Tried, I thought you tried scanning it the first time, and it didn't do anything. Wait, what? Why Scan. is this not going anywhere? Try scanning. Gosh, so much scanning. At, at, oh. God, okay. No. Oh, my... What is going on? Okay, nope. Yeah, no, there's nothing to scan in here. Yes. So you're going the other way, then? Wait, I, th that's where I came from. Isn't is it? it? Yeah, that's where I came from. <sighs> Wait. Wait, hang on. Go back to the, the, the dead end room. What do you mean? Dead, dead, uh. Keep going forward. Oh, I need to scan that! There we go, jeez. Oh boy. Well. Um. Wait, did. Hang on, did. You just lose your shoulder pads, Samus? Various suit malfunction. Morph ball malfunction. Missile malfunction. Oh, boy. Charge beam malfunction. Oh, that's Grab good. Her. Every... All my good stuff. All my good shit is now gone. Cool. I, I wondered why you start with the various suit. Oh, yeah. It does that thing... This game... It does that Metroid thing where, like, oh, yeah, here's all this cool shit you could do. Uh, psych, you gotta get that stuff back. What do I do here? Turn around. Look behind you. Is there anything there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Room is depressurizing. Come on. Okay, thank you. All right, I have 24 seconds. God, I did horrible last time. Yes! I'm out! I think. Yeah. This seems like a good... Uh, 
There's Ridley the fucker. Pirate Brigade escaped. Oh boy. Whew. Well, that was stressful. Also, I like how with this black. Oh, tracking on enemy target has been lost. Ground based recon. Okay. I like how when it's a black screen, actually, even now, you can see the reflection of the computer on the TV. I was I was going to mention that if... Yeah. Well, actually, I think I might have a way to around that. Does it involve putting the TV at a weird angle, or...? Uh, no. It involves turning down the brightness on the computer. Ah, okay. There we go. That should be good. Talon Overworld. Oh boy. Yes, I do want to save. Thank you. Don't want to go through that again. Saving in progress, and then it just crashes. Yeah, no, no, don't even <laughs> joke. <laughs> No, I would hate that. That'd be it, that would be, that would be as bad as Sonic Adventure uh, killing me after I defeated the final boss. That would be as bad as that. I'm sorry, but at the same time, I'm really not. Oh. Okay. Well, this is pretty. Oh. Oh, God. Can Samus swim? Well, I guess we're about to find out. Because I am underwater and have no idea how to get back. Okay, there we go. Ah, there we go. Uh, I didn't see an air meter. So I guess Samus but maybe, can swim. But, but maybe if you say, maybe it's like TF2, where if you stay underwater for too long, you start losing energy. Okay. Why do those things look like tectites? Because this is Nintendo. I don't know. Oh wait, that's also the door like, I literally they just also like, They also look like the, uh, the an, an, an enemy from the Neptunia series. Wait. Oh, this is new. This looks like Zen from Half-Life. I don't know what that means. Oh, hey, it's a that's, Zoomer. That's like, that's the alien world. Hey, it's a Zoomer. That's the, that's the only, is that the only enemy name that you know because of the Fortnite joke? No, I just, I, I just remember it. From me. Ah. Well, yes. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, no, I just remember that one because I made the Fortnite joke. And then I was like, oh, wait. Yeah, it's exactly what you said. Yeah. Well, not true. I also know Metroids. Oh, of course. Boss names don't count, by the way. So, Zoomer and Metroid. Again, I'm not experienced with this series. So. You've had experience in the worst possible ways. Yeah, so, yeah, based on that experience, I know Ridley and nothing else. <laughs> okay, I have a feeling I need to charge. Oh, wait, I can't charge shot. Like, I was wondering, like, don't you're supposed to, like in most Metroid games, you get all of those upgrades as you go along. Uh, my guess is that, that this just like 
takes place immediately after one of the other Metroid games, and it just like, oh yeah, you have all the upgrades at the beginning, but lose them. Yeah, probably. Because isn't that also very common practice for uh, Metroid? Like, oh yeah. Uh, you... I don't know, actually. Well, because I, I know it's a Metroid. joke, uh, yeah. like... Like, oh, you got Metroid, and all your stats are back down to zero. Uh, I think Super Metroid may have done that. <clears throat> Which would make sense based on the fact that you start uh, in a fight you can't win against Ridley. Yeah. That would make sense. And uh, I know Zero Mission, uh, you start everything from scratch, but... Eventually, you do lose everything and even your power suit to get the zero suit. And that's probably the most stressful part of any Metroid game ever. Oh, that must be why it's called the zero suit, because it's zero mission. Yeah. They, or the other way around. <laughs> that's, that's where the, that's where the, that's, that game was what introduced the zero suit. Okay. Okay, I can't kill this acid spitting Audrey too. <laughs> yeah. That, I, oh I, god, I, that's I, doing a lot of damage. Yeah, just evade. Just oh evade. god, what is happening? What? Why? Why am I taking so? Oh god, what is happening? Oh. What was oh, that? Okay. Something I thought was happening actually wasn't. Yeah, that that doesn't explain what was. I I, I don't freaking know. Ah. All all right, I'm dead. <laughs> Unless the like, the the whatever it is, the the acid ball things are like combining with the water. And making the water acidic temporarily. Uh, yeah, you know what? I bet that's what it was. I, that's probably exactly what happened. Because I know acid is a is a is a damage dealer in a lot of Metroid games, and it drains your health just like it was doing. All right. Well, good to know. It, it drains your health as long as you're standing in it. So I was just like, is that acid? But then it stopped hurting you. And I was just like, no, that's not acid. Well, because I got out of the water. No, you were still in it. You were still in it at one point, and it wasn't doing damage. Yeah, I don't know. So I need to figure out how to kill... That thing. I don't think you have any weapons that can yet. Well, then I don't know how to get past that area. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. I just shot that thing, and it did a thing. Wait, that... <laughs> hang on, that almost looks like something I can scan. I think that is a pickup. Well, no, it looks like something I can scan. Oh. Oh, it's just research. Okay. But... Try maybe, scanning the enemy. Yeah, maybe I have to do... Because there were some of those orange glowy things in that room, so maybe I have to shoot those? It made a pretty decent explosion. Maybe that's what I have to do. I just have to not die in the process. Also, luckily you can ju you can jump pretty far. It seems. I will say one of my least favoring se favorite segments in any games is uh, platforming in first person shooters. 
Yeah, see, I was worried I wasn't going to be, be able to make any of those jumps when I was first doing it, but then I was like, oh, yeah, okay, Samus is just an Olympic long jumper. Cool. Well, if she can jump as high in her uh, in this game as she can in her 2D yes. games, then yeah. Wait, door cannot be... What? Well, I destroyed the guy. That's helpful. I destroyed... I, I, I killed Audrey, too. I did not feed the plants. Oh. That's a missile door, I think. Which I don't have. You, you don't have your... I, I, I'd forgotten if that was one of the things that was destroyed. Apparently it was. Well, it, yeah, no, everything, everything's Great. just... I don't have anything except for the basic shot right now. So that beam. means I went all this way for nothing. At least you have the long beam. In most Metroid games... Shots would only go like three feet in front of you. To be fair, this is a 3D one. They probably if if that was a limitation, that would have been stupid. Also, I did notice that at the beginning of the game you didn't have either the gravity suit or like the wave beam or anything like that. So they're just like, hey, you have cool shit. Now you don't have it anymore. Time yeah, exactly. Cool time, time to get it back. But don't worry, you'll get even cooler shit. Okay, there's this area. Boom. And this is new. Okay, interesting. Access to Chozo Ruin. Ooh! Oh, Chozo's I know of. Because she's like half Chozo. I remember what she is. Exactly. She, she was like injected with Chozo DNA as a child. I didn't know that. I, I thought she was descended. I, I believe... Maybe both? I don't know. I just remember something about it from the uh, from the death battle between just, Samus and Boba Fett. I just realized, uh, Chozo Ruins. The Chozo statues are, in most Metroid games, what hold power-ups. So, oh. maybe you'll get a new ability. Nice. Um, they, they also usually restore your health. Yeah. And ammo for missiles. Seismic disturbance. Uh-oh. What does that mean? It, it, it said abnormal seismic activity detected. Oh my gosh, I just realized something. I didn't notice this earlier, but... Look at this Wii remote. I don't know if you guys can see it, but like the the like paint <laughs> on the buttons is fading. Like <laughs> our eyes gone through a lot of years. I suppose. Um. Fun times this, have been had. This also may not be a Nintendo official because my other Wii remote doesn't have that issue. And I feel like I've used I think I think I think it is Nintendo official. It, it looks it and most of the time, or at least ninety nine percent of the time, uh fake Wii remotes look fake. Alright. Like, I've never seen a third-party Wii Remote that resembles the first-party Wii Remote. They're, they're not like GameCube controllers. Oh, okay. Probably just means that one's gotten more use. I don't think so, though. I, I'm pretty sure the white one has a lot. I'm 
pretty sure the white one I have had I've had since the Wii, since I got the Wii, unless I got rid of uh, the white one that came with the Wii. I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe uh, 